In this video, we're going to learn about the cut technique. And so to get started, I'll choose to create a new design. And when the select techniques window opens up, I'll deselect embroidery, stencil, crystals, and paint for now. And just leave the cut technique turned on and say create new design. So now anything I create or can select will you know, automatically be using the cut technique. In other words, if I draw this polygon right now and select it, you'll see that the object details are by default that it's a cut element, which means it's already really basically ready to be sent over to the digital cutter other than we may want to change the cutter presets and the cutter presets are specific to each shape. In other words, if I had more than one shape on my screen, so why don't I draw another polygon? And so here I have two shapes and I'll make one of them have a red outline and one of them have a black outline and I'll select the one with the red outline and it's a cut and now I'll change the cut cutter presets and I'll just I'll just need to move this over so you can see it all because it was I'm not recording my whole screen here. Um, if I can choose from a large list of different things that you could be cutting, everything from vinyl to, you know, fabric to paper to crystals to paint, everything. So when you know what you're doing, so we'll say that this is going to be a piece of vinyl, I'll choose that. And all the presets and the blade color are chosen specifically for vinyl. Now, maybe this one over here is going to be something like paper or whatever. So we'll choose 20 pound paper and it gives me, you know, different presets here. And so each element can have its own sort of customized presets. Now, once you've chosen those and you're happy, then you go file, export and connect to the cutter. And this will send. So first of all, this is one of the amazing things about the artistic simple cut software is that you can control and interact with all of these different styles of cutting machines. And of course, I've got an artistic edge cutter. So that's what I have selected. And then I can say connect. And so it's now connected to the machine and it shows us that I have two shapes that I'm going to cut out. Um, one of them is black and one of them is red or basically they're different colors. So therefore they'll stop in between cutting them. Uh, currently they're both selected, but I could, you know, choose to only cut the black one or only cut the red one you know, or select them all and cut everything. I can interact with my cutter. I can change the speed and the pressure at this point or choose to cut a frame around the two or the overall design that I have. Um, I can use these little arrows here to move uh, the laser on my machine. So the location of the cutting can be adjusted with these arrows here. Um, You'll notice here, looking at the shape, that there's green sort of control points. And what those are is your ability to choose where the laser position will be. So this pink circle represents where the current, you know, if I was to cut this, then the laser would start in the upper left hand corner of the overall shape and then move down and to cut these shapes. Um, but I can click on any of these green control points and change the location of the origin of my laser point. So when you're looking at the actual cutter, where you see the laser light is in relationship to the box of the shape you're cutting. This is for your ability to choose where it will be. So you can have the laser, you know, be in the center and cut everything from the center of that laser point or from the left or wherever you want it to be. Now, another thing you might want to do is choose to do a little trace, which will basically now send the design to my machine and you can hear it go around and trace all around the shapes and just make sure that, it, you know, I can visually be sure that it fits on the material that I'm trying to cut out. Um, so you can hear it doing that now. Something else that we may want to do is to send a test and, you know, test cutting with our machine on the material. So you have your... Um, you know, whatever you're going to cut vinyl or, you know, crystals, have your material on the cutting mat. And when you choose test, it allows you to select what you're going to be cutting, whether it be vinyl or whether it be paper or whether it be cardstock, and it will create a test. Now, if you're choosing to cut things like vinyl, it's going to create a small heart shape that it cuts out a very small little heart shape. If you've chosen crystals, then it will cut out a little series of nine little circles um, that represent kind of crystalline. And if you choose that you're doing a paint technique, so down here I've got the paint, it will create and draw a little swirl. And so, of course, all of the 
presets, all the settings adjust when I choose paint. They adjust. I get, you know, drawing speed of 100. But if I go to, let's say, back to vinyl, the cutter speed is down to, let's say, 50. But if you want to test it, you know, at 30 or at 60 or whatever, you make the adjustments and then you say test and it cuts that test out. Now, when you're happy with your testing and you're done, you close all this and now you can choose to cut. If you need to, you can use this button to calibrate the cutter and that sends you through a little window with steps on, you know, how to calibrate your machine, but generally you don't have to do that more than once. And once you're happy with all the settings, you simply push cut and then it goes ahead and cuts out the design. So it sends it and cuts out the design as, you know, requested. So really that's how you can interact with your cutting machine. Uh, of course, you could have combined techniques, so it's possible to have paint, um, embroidery, um, you know, applique, everything combined together so you can cut out. Uh, you can use the cutting machine in combination with other techniques. Um, and a good example of that is even using the print and cut. So what I'll do is I'll come back and record a second, another segment about cutting specifically uh, to use the print and cut feature.